What is it that makes a story happy or sad? What if I told you the story of a man hated by his own family, sold into slavery, taken to a foreign land, thrown into a prison for a crime he did not commit, and forgotten by man as it seems by God? What kind of story would you say it is? Well, I would say it was a sad story, a story of injustice, a story of oppression, a great tragedy. But the story here is from Genesis, actually the, the last part of the book of Genesis, and this man is Joseph. And he would end up being released from prison, given a position of great honor, saving Egypt from famine, being reconciled into his family. Now, would you still say that story is sad and tragic? No, the story is one of triumph. The parts of the story are not all of equal weight. A happy story with a tragic end is not a happy story, but a tragic one. A tragic story with a triumphant end is not a tragic story, but a triumphant one. You can never judge a story by the beginning of the story, or the middle of the story, or by any parts before the ending of the story. It is the ending of the story that determines everything that went before it. Always remember that. The nature of the story is determined by its end. So too the story of your life. Never judge your story, your life, by your current circumstances or problems. As long as you are on this earth, you haven't seen the end of the story. I, t I say this all the time in funerals. Pretend your life is a story with a beginning and an end. Our beginning is the day we are born, the date we are born, the date we die is the end of our story, but in the middle there's a, there's a dash, and in that dash, there are mountaintops and valleys and good times and bad times and good parts and bad parts. If you are a child of God, the end of your story is revealed. There's victory, there's restoration, there's triumph, there's blessing, there's glory, there's joy. And it's the end that makes your life a good story, a wonderful story. God's begun something in your heart that will accomplish it in the day of Jesus. Therefore, when you look at life, everything, look at everything in light of the end. Every problem, every defeat, every sorrow, every failure, every evil. They are only components of a story of triumph and of glory. Hey, fix your eyes on the end of the story and press on to that end. For it is that end that makes your story and your life a good one. Application. No matter what you're going through today or in your life, believe, look to, and live in confidence to the end of the story. What a thought. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening.